Next stop, the college gamers. Hello, Cammy. Hi, Mike. This week we're talking about Mini Metro. Mini Metro. <laughs> in this early access simulation game, you take over a subway in some of the world's largest cities like London and New York City. And Paris. And Paris. <laughs> there are multiple color lines like red and blue. The different subway stations are different shapes, including circles, squares, and some unique ones like stars. Yes, and each passenger is also a different shape, which corresponds with the station that they would like to go to. I found the game to be very smooth. Oh my goodness, yes. It was, it, that's, I think that is one word that I would use to describe the entire game is it's simple, but it is so smooth. Also, incredibly addicting. It really <laughs> should be a tablet game. Yes, yes, yes. If this were on my iPad, I don't think I would ever sleep again. I think I would just play Mini Metro all the time, all day long, 24-7. <laughs> I really didn't anticipate loving it so much, but I just did. It is strangely addicting. But again, it is early access, so it's kind of beta right now. The game lacks audio. Yes, it does. But I don't think that it's a big deal, in my opinion. Some sound effects would be nice, though. Yeah, I can. I get that. The game is also lacking maps right now. There's only about four playable maps. It is six dollars and ninety nine cents on Steam. That's about seven eighty in Canadian dollars, and three chickens and two cows if you live in medieval Europe. <laughs> the game is available for PC, Mac, and Linux. Well, that's all we have for y'all this time. You can follow me on Twitter at Blue Cows with a Z. And you can follow me now on Twitter too. My username is S E E F as in frog, I N I L L A, C Vanilla. Well, that's all we have. This is our stop. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. <laughs>